Hello, my students, how are you today? I hope you are fine. Today, inshallah, we will have the new hello, prep 3, unit 3, lessons 1 plus 2, pages number 11 and 12. The title of the unit is Festivals and Special Days. Festivals and Special Days. What is the meaning of festivals? Festivals means important day that we celebrate, we do, uh, we do activities in, enjoy activities on these days, okay? Special days means important, or more than, or better than usual, okay? Okay, let's start with the new vocab or the new words of the unit. The first word is festival. As we said, the festival means an important day when we do activities or enjoy activities. Enjoy what? Activities. Okay? Like Shakti Nisim is a festival. Aid al Fitr is a festival. Okay? Important day, we celebrate. After that, we have the word celebrate. Celebrate like this. Do activities in festivals. How do you celebrate in Shakti Nisim? I go to parks. So celebrate means to do activities. Okay? Okay, after that, Special, special something not usual, better or more important usual, okay? But more important than usual, something which is better, okay? Hmm. After that, free, free without money. If I say this book is for free, it means without paying any money, okay? After that, represent. Represent means refer to, okay? It's a sign for something. Okay, if I say that flowers, flowers represent the spring, means what? Is a sign or a sign for spring, okay? Okay, after that, passive and active, or active and passive. Now we have finished our new vocab, <coughs> let's turn to the grammar of the unit, with the title of active passive. Look at, the, look at the sentence, the baker makes bread, the baker makes bread, the baker is subject, makes is verb, bread is object. If I start with subject plus verb, it's equal, it's called what? Active sentence or active voice, okay? If the sentence starts with subject plus verb, means what? Active voice. A baker who makes bread, okay? If I want to make it negative, if I want to make it passive, I start with the object. To make it passive, I start with the object first, bread. After that, verb to be. After that, pp. So, what is the difference between active and passive? The active subject plus verb plus object. But the passive object at first, after that, Verb to be and is or in the present, okay? After that, past participle or PP, okay? What is the meaning in Arabic? Here, the baker makes bread. Al Khabbath, Ya'mat al Yasma al Khubz, okay? But here, bread is made. Al Khubz, Yusma, Yugahaz. So, what the difference is called active, it's called passive in the present simple, okay? So, bread is made by the baker. By the baker. After that, look at this. Nick reads books every day. Nick is a subject. Read is verb. Books object. I want to make it passive. I start with what? The object. Read the object books. So, books at first. After that, is or are books plural. So, books are. But a book is. Okay? So, object. After that, or after that, the PP of the verb read. Read, read, read. So it will be what? It will be books are read by Nick every day, or every day by Nick. Look at this. Books are read by Nick every day. So the passive means to start with the object at first to become subject. After that, verb to be plus PP. After that, by. Buy it every day, okay? After that, he opened the door. He subject opens verb, the door object. 
It's called active. I want to make it passive. Yes. Excellent. I start with the door at first. After that, is for R M. The door singular, so the door is. After that, P P. Open, open, open. So the door is opened by him. It's called what? Passive form or passive voice. What else? It's called what? The present simple passive. And it's R plus P P. Okay? Mm. After that, look at this. The cat drank the milk. The cat's object. Drank the verb in the past. The milk is object. What's it? Active or passive? No active. Because the subject at first, the door of the action is at first. I want to make it passive. I start with what? The object. After that, is for R and No. The verb is in the past. So I use and is R or was where? Yeah, was and where. Yes. So I say the milk was drunk. Drink, the drank, the drunk. Okay? So it's called passive. So the passive in the past, like the passive in the present. But, and is R? No. Was where? So we put was where in this of, and is R. To make it passive in the past. After that, Shakespeare wrote Hamlet. Shakespeare's object. Root verb in the past. Hamlet is object. Direct object. Okay? I want to make it passive. I start with the object. Yes. After that, was or where? Hamlet was. Singular. After that, root. Right. Root written. Okay. So, Hamlet was written by Shakespeare. It's called what? Passive form. Okay? Passive simple passive was or where? Plus, plus, purposeful. And at first we put the object. Okay? Now we have finished our lesson. Listen. Thank you, thanks for watching, and see you the next time. Goodbye.